connect with you again. My topic, when will it come? My text is taken from St. Matthew 24 and verse 14. And the Bible says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness, and then shall the end come. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your words of hope. Rescue this preacher and these words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When will it come? When will it come? Remember when Hurricane Gilbert lashed Jamaica on September 12, 1988? There was a flurry of activities, everyone buying candles and matches, kerosene oil and batteries, non-perishable foodstuff. The roadways were jammed with impatient commuters wishing to go home and the government advising that all necessary precautions should be taken. Everyone must be in readiness. But there were complaints by some who argued that no storm was coming. Gilbert, however, did an island huff. You see, he was like a millionaire on a spending spree. So he jumped through the chain of islands. And then on Sunday afternoon, early into Monday morning, it made landfall in Jamaica. He used his invisible hands and took off many roofs. <laughs> Gilbert took residence in homes and hotels. He went like a spoiled child and overturned people's beach chairs. He took their food out of their refrigerators. He relocated their furniture. He drove their bends, their doublers and pajeros out of their garages. Additionally, he sent people scurrying to higher ground torrential and devastating rains with gale force winds 162 miles per hour. He threw anyone in his path on the ground, raking havoc, running like a demoniac, and traveled down the streets over the hills throughout Jamaica and in the Caribbean and sections of the United States of America. However, in its way, it left millions of dollars in damage. Most roofs were blown off and lots of houses were totally destroyed. And there's more. It is 2004 and it is a day of destruction. It is the day after Christmas and all seem to be calm in paradise. But deep beneath the earth, it suffers a violent shift. What appears to be a normal wave at first, its destruction, it strikes without warning, and the devastation it delivers is like none the world has ever witnessed before. This is one of the least understood natural disasters ever strike. At the tsunami, it's a day of destruction unlike any other. Each year, thousands of Westerners flock the beaches in Asia to trade better winter temperature for sun, sand, and scenery. Thailand, Kai. Fifi Island is one of the hot spots. Cressida Linden from London is enjoying Christmas in the sun with three-year-old son. Capturing the fun on film, on film is her husband. And the day's fun 
goes on well into the night. People celebrate with long parties on the beach and in their cars, but this would prove to be the last night of fun for the vacationers on the Fifi Island in Thailand. Dawn December 26, 2004, Cressida and her son lay in bed unaware of what early beach goers are beginning to notice just outside their room. Dangerous waves are approaching the shore. A young boy knows what the powerful force is that's charging his way. All along the coast of Thailand, hotels packed with tourists are being battered by tsunami. People hang on to anything they can to avoid being swept away. The Asian tsunami was created by a massive earthquake off the Indonesian Ocean coast of Sumatra with incredible speed. It traveled 3,000 miles around the Indian Ocean, striking 12 countries. There was a massive shift under the water, an earthquake that registered a 9.0 on the Richter scale. Hundreds of lives were lost. Water everywhere. It carried everything with it. Sounds familiar? Isn't it? The people in the antediluvian era laughed at Noah because he had prophesied something that has never happened before. Rain. Can you imagine a thing like that? A boat to house animals and people. They thought it was a joke. But it happened. Torrential and devastating rain. The rear of a hurricane boulders crash in convolution. Heavens bloomed in expulsion. Giant trees snapped in the gale and the wind crying like a dying beast. Catastrophe overtook everything, but they were all asleep and they were all swept away to their awful fate. They were warned for a long time, 120 years in fact, but they did not believe. They mocked Noah and jeered him. Some are laugh, laughing now. It's a long time since the promise of Christ return. Never hear of someone arriving in the skies with angels. But in Matthew 24, 42, we are admonished to watch therefore, for we know neither the day nor the hour when the Lord doth come. When was the last time you decided you better get your house in order? Because his coming is even at the door. What time is it? It's time to spread the gospel. Time to preach the gospel. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news about Jesus. Yes, we know about false Christ. Yes, we know there will be war and rumors of war. We know that nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. We know that there are famines and pestilence and earthquakes in many places. We know that there is already persecution and betrayal. We know that there is already hatred in many places for Christ's sake. We know that false prophets have arisen. We know that iniquity shall abound and the love of many shall wax cold. We know that the sun had already been darkened and the moon has already turned blood. We know that the stars have already fallen and that the powers of heaven shall be shaken. We know that the Lord will not come except there will be a falling away first 
and that the mud of sin will be revealed. We know about Daniel's image. We know about Daniel's beast. We know about Revelation seven churches, seven seals, seven trumpets, seven angels, seven fires, and seven plagues. And we know about the third angel's message and the everlasting gospel found in Revelation 14, 6 to 12. The first angel's message says, and it reads thusly, Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, kindred, and tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. Judgment has come and worship him who made heaven and earth and the sea and the springs of water. Verse 8 tells us about the second angel. And I saw another angel followed saying, Babylon is falling, is falling, that great city because she has made all nations drink of the wine of her fornication. False teachings, false doctrines is described in, in the, by the word Babylon. Verse 9, give us the third angel's message. The record says, the third angel followed saying with a loud voice, if any man worships the beast and his image and receives his mark in their forehead or hand. Verse 10 declares that he himself shall also drink of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Let the Bible speak for itself, beloved friends. Friends, we must never add or take away anything from the word of God because God says that he's going to take away from us too. Obedience to the word of God is going to be the key to what will decide our eternal destiny. We ought to keep the commandments. We ought to do what the Lord says. God is not going to change his commandments to suit us. We have to change to fit God's commandment. And so there is a motive in our scripture passage, said Matthew 24. The motive is we don't know when Jesus is coming back. However, our duty is to live expectant lives so we can meet him when he comes. There is also a mission in St. Matthew 24 and the mission is is that we ought to preach the third angel's message. We ought to preach the everlasting gospel and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness and then shall the end come. Matthew 24, 14. Judgment has begun, but judgment day is coming. Christ is now interceding for us, praying for us. There is also a message in St. Matthew 24, 14. The message is Jesus, who was dead, rose from the dead the first day of the week. Matthew 16, 1 and is alive forevermore and he has the keys of death hell and the grave that is why we can sing because he lives i can face tomorrow because he lives all fears are gone because i know who holds the future and life is worthwhile living just because he lives yes indeed i serve a risen savior and he's in the world today COVID-19 is here, but Jesus is here too. It is your, if it is your desire today to accept Christ, just 
say, Lord, save me. I serve him because he saved me. His bond is love. His yoke is easy. His burdens are light. And his goal is for us to have abundant life. I follow him because he is the wisdom of the wise. He is power of the powerful, the ruler of rulers, the leader of all leaders. His goal is a relationship with you and me. He will never leave me. He will never mislead you, never forget you, never overlook you, and never cancel your appointment. When you fall, he will lift you up. When you fail, he will forgive you. When you are weak, he is strong. When you are lost, when you have lost your way, he is your way. When you stumble, he will steady you. When you are broken, he will mend you. When you are blind, he will lead you. When you are hungry, he will feed you. When you are faced with persecution, he will carry you. When you are faced with death, he is resurrection. He is everything to everybody. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end of the Greek alphabet, the beginning and end, yet he continues. He is the Amen. He is the one who is altogether lovely. Oh, I love to talk about him. We might ask, who is this King of glory? He is the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He is the king of glory. I think I heard somebody saying, yet a little while, Jesus will come. So be patient, folk. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount upon wings as eagles. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. Who are we talking about? We are talking about Jesus Christ. When will it come? No man knoweth the day nor the hour. But your business is to get ready and to stay ready. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your words. I pray that you will be with your people across the world. Heal our land of Jamaica, Heavenly Father. Heal this world and make it a better place. Heal those individuals who are now sick. Father, thank you for what you are going to do for them. In Jesus' name we pray.